What's going on guys? My name is Dylan and today I have another Da Vinci Resolve tutorial for you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this cool little freeze frame mask animation transition, whatever you want to call it. You guys can do a lot of things with this. You guys can see examples of this in Kriya Tyler's videos. He uses this a lot. It was in Magnolia by Playboy Cardi. There's just a ton of music videos that use this effect a lot. So I'm going to be diving into DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So let's jump into Resolve and I'll show you guys how to do it. Alright guys, so once you have DaVinci Resolve opened up, you're just going to want to do this effect on two clips. And basically what you're going to want to do is go to the cut point between the two clips. Let me just zoom in a little bit and you're just going to go one frame forward. And you're just going to want to cut the clip right there. And then what you're going to want to do is duplicate this by holding option and dragging up. And then once you have this little one frame right here, you're just going to right click on it and go to change clip speed and freeze frame it. Once you guys have it freeze framed, you guys can kind of just drag this out however long you want this transition to take place. I'm just going to drag this out a little bit more. And now what you're going to want to do is just click on the freeze frame and go over to the color panel. Alright, once the color panel is opened up, the first thing you're going to want to do is hold Option S, which creates a new node, and you're going to right click and add an alpha output and just connect two blue lines right here. And then what you're going to want to do is go on the mask icon and you're just going to want to mask out the person in this. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. I'm just going to create a rough mask, but you guys can go really in depth on this and really take your time and mask out the subject. Alright, so once you guys have masked yourself out of this image, just zoom out a little bit, then what you're going to want to do is go over to the edit panel and you guys can see your mask. You guys can kind of adjust it how you guys to get all the white out of the image or anything but the subject. You can guys can really adjust the mask and kind of fix all the points that you need to fix. Just for this video, I'm just going to leave the mask as is right now. So now what you're going to want to do is go over to the end of your freeze frame and you're going to want to make a keyframe for zoom and position. This is just how I'm going to do it. You guys can really leave it as is if you guys like it or you guys can really do a whole lot of things with this, but I'm just going to kind of punch this in a little bit and kind of move this over so that there's more of, there's just more movement in the clip. I'm just gonna move this up. You guys can position this however you guys want to. You guys can have them coming from the top and then zooming back in. It just really depends on what you're going for. But this is basically what I did for the intro was I just kind of zoomed them in a little bit then moved them over. So then as you guys can see, I'm gonna play this back. My playback isn't very good right now. He just kind of zooms back into himself and then right where you made your last keyframe, this is going to be the ending position, so it's going to be the start of the next clip. And that's basically all there is to it. You guys can add rotation, you guys can add an anchor point, there's a ton of stuff you guys can really do with this, so you guys can kind of play around with all that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss my May uploads. I will be uploading every single day of May. So don't miss out on those.